What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need right up front, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, we're gonna show you just how easy it is to create filters on multiple columns in any SharePoint view. Stick around, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Okay, let's get the timer rolling. Here we go. So you're in this list, you're like, you know what? I need to see just the stuff that was created by Sega. So we filter by Sega, apply, boom. You're like, you know what? I also need to see just the disk systems. So we're gonna go into the format. We're gonna go filter by disks, apply. And then you wanna save that. We go to save view as. And we'll call it Sega Disk. Ooh, wow. Are we going to make it? Disk Systems. Make public, save, boom, you did it. You use multiple columns to create a complex filter. All right, so let's slow it down and talk about this and also show you what happens on the backside uh, when you do this from the view. Before we do that, Quick shout out to everyone watching, all the past watchers, likers, subscribers, and all that. We appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. If you haven't had a chance, like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell notification so you can know as soon as new stuff's available. Okay, let's break this down a little bit. Let's go back to our all items. By the way, all items. Oh, that was weird. Let's go back to, let's try that again. Let's go back to all items. Wow, really? I'm going to refresh. Y'all are seeing this live, just so you know, all items. Wow. Okay, so apparently I needed to refresh after saving that view. So let's say you want to, you know, create a filtered view and, you know, one column's great, but you decide that you need to use multiple columns. Well, you can do that in any library or list view. Now, the one thing that you cannot do is group by multiple. So if I wanted to, you know, group by the companies and then I want to also group by format, it's going to pick one or the other. Or did it do both? Yeah, it just so format. Yeah. So we got by cartridge and by disk. So you get to pick one or the other. And the icon flipped from over here to over here. If we go back to company, uh, group by company, it flips over here. Now, there is a way that you can do multiple groupings, but you can't do it from the view. You've got to go into your list settings. All right, so let's clear this out of the way. All right, so what we did before, we'll give you that version. Again, we were just trimming it to a company, and we were going with Sega here. And then we were saying we wanted to see just the disk. Let's try just the cartridges. So we want to see just the cartridge systems. Cartridge, apply. Hey, cartridge, apply. And then we'll just give it a good old refresh for good measure. I don't know. Oh, I updated the all items view there. See what I did there? Now my all items view is, is filtered, which you do not want. You do not want a filtered all items view because that's not all items. Well, we can fix this. We'll go in here, we'll clear all, apply, and we'll go here and we'll clear all, apply, and let's just save this so that we're good here. All right, so one thing you can do to prevent that mistake from happening is go ahead and save the view before you configure the view. So we know we want to use all items as our like jumping off point, so why don't we go into save view as and just name it what we're gonna do. And we're gonna go, um, it's gonna be Sega Cartridge Systems, okay? We'll save it. Yes, I know it hasn't been trimmed yet, but now we've got this view, and then we can configure it the way it needs to be configured. So we go to Company, we'll go Filter by Sega, Apply, and then Format, Filter by Cartridge, Apply. And we will save this save you as we'll just keep the same name because now this is correct and there we go now let's see are we going to be able to go back to all items without any weirdness okay yeah there we go hopefully that helps you create some filter views although we're not done we're not done hang tight i'll show you how to get to the more complex settings for editing your views and uh, one way is to click your drop down here and go into edit current view so we can do that we'll take you the most direct way 
So we'll go to that cartridge view, hit the drop down, edit current view. So this bypasses list settings and takes you right into the settings for the view. And let's take a look at what happens in the filtering section. So it pre-selected, hey, 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 no, what, what? That's not supposed to be like that. Let's refresh again. Edit current view. We needed to show those filters. Wow, that was weird. Y'all saw that. I know you saw that live. Okay, so company is equal to Sega and format equal to cartridge. So instead of you having to go in here and manually push all these buttons, SharePoint does it for you when you create these with your column headers. Now, if you really want to nerd out with me, I'm going to cancel this so we don't mess anything up. If you really want to nerd out with me, I'll show you how to get there from list settings. So we get the gear icon, list settings, and then your views are going to be down here at the bottom. And you can go click on the view that you want to mess with. Cartridge systems. And there you go. This is the same place we just were. All right. So hopefully that helps you with your filtered views. Remember, do the very best you can with what you got. SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.